Hello guys, my name is Miroslava, I am the metaphysical chick and in this video I'm gonna talk a little bit about the 1111 portal, uh, the energy, just what I'm feeling intuitively and also I pulled out um, a few oracle cards. I wasn't gonna share this but the energy that came through is so beautiful and so in alignment with what I'm feeling intuitively so yeah, let's do this. So let's just talk a little bit about the energy, the feeling that I am getting with this 11.11 portal. Um, the days leading up to today, and especially after the election, everything is just so chaotic. The energy is so, so intense. It's extreme right now. That is, yeah, that's the word I'm, I'm hearing. It is very extreme. And a lot of us are being tested. The light workers, the star seeds, we are being tested and we are having to really use our power of discernment to really separate the truth from the lies and from the illusion that is being created by the lies that the media and, you know, it just there, there's a lot of darkness and a lot of. Um, yeah, a lot of darkness that is coming to the surface, a lot of corruption. And I talked a little bit about this on my last video about the light versus darkness, but a lot of darkness is rising up to the surface. A lot of um, energy that has been toxic, not just to us personally at a personal level, but at a collective level for humanity is rising up to the surface to be felt, to be integrated, consciously and to be healed and so a lot of us that's well that's what i've been doing that's what i've been feeling and this is also showing up within my family and um it's been it's been rough but it's a beautiful process of just deep deep healing and transformation so it's definitely worth it to give yourself the time to feel everything just really feel everything and so what i feel with this 1111 portal is it is shifting it is helping us shift our perspective even more and if you're a star seed a light worker we are in this journey and it's it's a constant process of evolution and transformation it's like it's it's a never-ending journey of just deep deep transformation and healing and um, with this 1111 portal, I feel that a lot of us have passed many tests and we are now fully aligned to the person we are here to be, the person we are destined to be. And if you are not aligned yet, then this portal is giving you the energy, it is giving you the opportunity to transform and to really shift the perspective that you have of the reality that we experience so that you can move on to something is more spiritual and more connected to the higher realms and to the new earth because the new earth is all about fifth dimensional uh, experiences and uh, fifth dimensional perspectives which are all about love and unity consciousness and right now there is a lot of separation within the collective um, if you go to social media, especially Twitter, I can't, I can't with Twitter. It's too much for me. Uh, there's a lot of hate and there's a lot of just, people are savage, you know? <laughs> and I mean, you know, like the memes and all of that. Yeah, it's funny, but I mean, it's not something that I want to immerse myself in. I want to see things from a higher perspective and uh, yeah, I have fun and I laugh, but it's like, no, nah, that's not the energy I want to step into, you know? So just to recap this, the 1111 portal is all about uh, alignment and uh, soul transformation. It is awakening star seeds and light workers, everyone that is ready to move on to the new uh, earth timeline. It is giving us the push to embrace the unknown, which truly is known because we came here knowing what was going to happen. We incarnated during this time knowing that our energy, our love was going to be needed. And so it feels unknown, but in reality it's not. We already know. We know everything. We just have to come back to ourselves, tune into the heart, 
and really allow the vibration, the frequency of love to lead the way. So let love, look which card was that? The great teacher, damn. Um, but uh, yeah, so let love lead the way. Wow, let love lead the way. And look, it is, I believe this is Ascender Master Yeshua. And let love lead the way. You know, it is the dove and it's just flying away. It's being free. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Okay. So yeah, it's all about love. Love for ourselves. Love for humanity. It is about forgiveness as well. Um, and just about us coming back to ourselves. This is about us. About you as a person. And focus on that. Focus on your destiny. What is that destiny's call? Okay, so now let's look at the cards that came out. So... I have here Air Guardian and it says shift your perception. So like I was saying, it's all about shifting the perception, uh, the perspective that we have of the reality that we are experiencing. It is about detaching from the material world, from the physical world and coming back to our center, again to our spirit, to God, to the universe. When you center yourself in that sacred space within your heart, this sacred space is the connection to God, to spirit, to the galactics, to uh, just everything that is non-physical. And when you go there, everything makes sense and it's all perfect. You understand there's no wrong or right. There's only love. So the next card that came out is Mother Earth. Feel loved. You know, the earth is shifting with us. Mother Earth is here to support us, to help us ground the energy so that we are not so much in our heads, but really come down to the heart and to the roots of Mother Earth. And so if you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling afraid, scared of what might happen, go out in nature, spend time in nature and really ground, connect yourself to the earth. Talk to the rocks, to plants butterflies it's beautiful okay and then we have earth guardian and this one says stay stay rooted and grounded again it's another card about grounding ourselves and um, and you know i am also saying this because i experienced this, this the past few days and i just had to completely detach from uh the news or well i don't watch the news but just like reports and just there's a lot happening right now with the election and everything so i i had to really detach myself and yeah so just spend time in nature again stay grounded and then we have the great teacher and so again this 1111 portal is awakening the teacher within us the light workers and star seeds are here to lead the way in a different way the age of aquarius the aquarian energy that we are stepping into um, in tropical astrology we have the planets uh, pluto jupiter and saturn all transiting the late degrees of capricorn stepping into aquarius and Aquarius is all about the energy of the rebel. Aquarius is the alien. I am an Aquarius moon, so my mind is the mind of an alien. And so I do find it sometimes frustrating to have conversations with other people. But, you know, like I, 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 I connect back to my heart and just listen with compassion and empathy. But, um, and I'm sure this is something that many of you struggle with. But it's just, we have a different way of thinking. It's more expansive and also more inclusive as well. It's all one, right? So the great teacher is awakening within everyone that is ready to step into their role of leadership. And then we have a magic guardian. There's so many guardians here. We are protected, always. Uh, this one says, unlock the magic within. And this is also for all of my witches and the high priestesses out there. Um, I really, I, yeah, I relate or connect with this a lot because I see myself as a witch as well as an alien and everything else. And a lot of the energy surrounding witches is very dark and we are seen as evil and um, 
Thankfully, everything is changing, the energy is shifting, we are beginning to really shine our divine light and the world is beginning to see us differently. It, they are more accepting of our energy and uh, the reason they were afraid is because we were so powerful, we are very powerful. And um, I'm not saying that the rest of humanity is not powerful because we all are, we just have to really tap into that magic within and unfortunately not all of humanity is able to do that at this time so we have to lead the way by being the example by unleashing the magic and really embracing that shadow aspect within ourselves as well because the shadow and the light or darkness and light is all the same you know it is all the same just different vibrations and um different shades of colors you know but um, I thought this was beautiful, so unlock the magic. And then the last oracle card from this deck is the Direction Guardian. And this one says, choose your path. This is something that I've been personally feeling a lot, is listening to really the guidance of my soul. What is it that I want to do in this world? How is it that I want to approach my spiritual work? I've also been reminding myself that it is safe for me to receive money for the services that I provide because I know this is very... There's a lot of controversy of whether spiritual guides or people that work within the spiritual community should receive money for what they do and my belief is that yes everything is energy even money we cannot serve from an empty cup the cup has to remain full and so we are now being asked to choose our path and to again detach from everything that is happening in the world come back to yourself and follow the soul's guidance what is it that you feel in your heart that you are here to do what is it that is more spiritual and not so physical? Because the physical world right now, like I said, Jupiter, Saturn, and Pluto are all transiting the sign of Capricorn and they are stepping into the sign of Aquarius. So everything that is physical, the economy, the government, power structures, everything is changing. It's all transforming. The age of Aquarius, the Aquarian energy is bringing us something that is different. It is more about the people, about humanity, about us being our own bosses oh, uh, uh, us being the creators of our own reality so really just choose your heart and that's gonna lead you to the right path okay and now from this other deck I'll have the name of the names of the decks that I'm using in the description box um, but this one is so beautiful and um, I have share your voice come out of the cave, persecution, expression. And this is for all of you that are afraid of speaking up. And I, I feel this as well because like I've been saying, it is, there's, there's so much chaotic energy in the world right now. And if you dare to have a different belief than someone else, they come at you and they start judging you and um, it gets very dirty and nasty and it's 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 a test for us to step up and really stand in our truth so don't be afraid to use your voice there's so much power there are so many frequencies that are emitted when you use your voice it's not just about the words it's about the energy of those words the frequency that comes out of you when you speak those words so do if you speak out do it with love with compassion have empathy everyone is going through this we are all acting differently and reacting differently so definitely be patient or have patience be patient but um yeah so that's beautiful and then i have a soul family call in your tribe you don't have to do it alone that's beautiful. And I really feel this is the energy of Aquarius and the energy of this 1111 portal. 
everyone that is meant to be in your life, the people that are truly meant to be with you as you approach or as you uh, just go for it, go for your destiny. Those people are coming into your life now. And what I've been hearing for myself, the guidance that I've been receiving is that 2020, everything that was not meant to be part of my life had to crumble. And 2021 is all about alignment. It is all about soul tribe and soul family, divine connections, divine love. So it's all beautiful. And then we have <laughs> don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? So again, it's all about coming back to yourself and not being afraid of what people are going to say or what people are going to think, if you're going to be judged, if you're going to lose friends, if you're going to lose uh, family. And again, that sucks. It's, it's, it's not good. But at the same time, we have to be aligned and maybe it's meant, it's meant to be and those people are not meant to be part of your life anymore. So, you know, don't dim your light. Don't try to fit in, especially during the age of Aquarius. That's no, no, you have to be different. You have to be rebellious. And um, also, um, if you are like myself, a starseed or a light worker, definitely start your own YouTube channel your own website, your blog, start sharing information. Again, like I said, there is a lot of truth. There is a lot of energy that is coming out of you when you speak. And um, the world is needing that light that you hold. So definitely don't be afraid to step out, to come out of the shell. <laughs> and so the next card that I have here is answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? right this is so it's it's amazing it's all about again just aligning to our destiny what are we here to do what are you here to do what do you feel what is your passion and again don't make it so physical so about the money so about the government or about I don't know, like, again the material stuff make it about you make it about spirit make it about energy that's that is the new earth that's what we are stepping into that is the new timeline and the only way we are going to be at peace is by following our soul's calling otherwise we're gonna be in a constant battle with ourselves and that is not a good place to be in i've been there before and it it sucks <laughs> So those are the cards that came out and again it's so in alignment with the energy that I've been feeling and with the things that have been showing up in my life these past few days and this 1111 portal is so beautiful. It is so divine. It's bringing in a lot of clarity and a lot of peace, understanding, forgiveness as well. We are forgiving ourselves. So that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, um, definitely like and subscribe to my channel. I am following the guidance of the cards and I am using my voice and I will be sharing a lot more here on my YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Instagram uh, at the metaphysical chick. And I also have a Facebook. It is a personal page. Uh, you can find me there as Miroslava Cassiano. And yeah, so I am stepping into, I am listening to my soul's calling and I am aligning myself to the destiny that I am here to fulfill. It is about the mission, but it is also about having fun while we fulfill that mission. If you have any questions, uh, just leave a comment. I also will leave the link to my website. I am offering different services. And I do also create crystal bracelets and crystal necklaces. I do a lot of crystal magic. So if you're interested in just learning more about that, I, again, the link of my website is in the description. Um, also, again, uh, the work that I do is all energy. And um, if you feel that you want to support the channel, this channel, or just support me, um, I will leave a link to my PayPal where you can make donations. And again, 
it's only if you feel the resonance with my messages so thank you for listening thank you for being here thank you for showing up i am sending you so much love and um happy 11 11 portal it's gonna be magical from here on it's all gonna be magical just come back to your soul